go exactly as planned. Well, hey everyone, how are you? I'm Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, Welcome, we are so glad to have you here. We do lots of frugal fun here from markdown shopping, grocery hauls, food challenges, I have a no buy year, and just lots and lots of stuff with tips and tricks to help you guys save money. And I take you along on crazy fun challenges, which is what today's video is all about. So I did this challenge last year, only eating markdown foods for a whole week, focusing on me, myself and I, and just looking, is it possible and what on earth <laughs> would I be eating for a week because oh, I don't think I knew what I was doing when I got into it. And this challenge was a little bit similar because I was like, oh, I know, I'll do it again. This time I know what's going on. And I just hadn't quite found or had the time to do as much markdown shopping as what I normally do. So I kind of just woke up that morning and went, hey, I could do that challenge again, that'd be cool, yeah. And then went to the shops and went, ooh, oh that's okay, I just won't record it <laughs> and no one will see it. <laughs> but here we are, clearly I did have a bit of a think and got a few things together which I'm excited about. So mostly it's going to be footage showing you guys what I did have and I'll be talking over the top of it. A lot of stuff repeats because you know once you have a food you want to go through it. I don't think I've done too bad, I think I've had quite a variety of stuff. One of the rules that I did have this time is just for my own sanity um, to have the meal at least 90% of markdown the products because um, I do still need some fuel to teach my Zumba classes and being in a family I needed meals not to have to be this big separate thing because I don't have as much time as what I used to have doing a lot of this stuff and so my meals need to be pretty quick and simple around that. So. We went shopping and we got a couple of things and I will show you the haul. As we went through the week, I picked up a few extra one or two things, which you will see. So let me share with you what we had, or what I had, because it's me, myself and I, for the week. Okay, here's the first haul that we have today that should last me a couple of days. We'll go through a few things. I've got a coleslaw that's $1.90. The weight of this is about on par with what I'd probably get at Coles for two dollars so a savings there got a loaf of white bread dollar 49 got six fruitless hot cross buns for two dollars 25 it's cheaper than the Woolworths ones i can get marked down got this billy's hot dog sausage dog thing i don't know for 49 cents got some diced chicken here for 4.99 so it's just over 500 grams so it means it would be $8, which is still cheaper than Coles, $9.50 a kilo. I've got some iced coffee here for $1.89. I've got two packs of Tim Tams, they're a dollar each. I'll hide one away. I've got nine croissants for $4.80. I normally can get 12 when it's marked down for $5, so it's not too bad, but I haven't seen any for ages and ages. Then I got this burger slaw for one dollar. I've got a cheese and chives dip, two dollars four. This will go for replacement of margarine for like sandwiches and things. Got a sneaky little treat here for a dollar. And then I've got this packet of meat. <laughs> there's chicken loaf, there's ham, there's beef, whole lot of stuff for four dollars sixty eight. I think I read it was about 800 grams. Is that right? Uh, yeah, 800 grams. So I will show you everything that we have to eat. Okay, it's lunchtime at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so I just have a mix of the meat and some of the coleslaw that's here. Tuesday night was a sweet and sour chicken with pineapple from the Canton jar I'd bought from Foodland quite a few weeks ago for like $2. So I'm counting that as a win because it was cheap. Of 
course I've added rice and the chicken that was marked down that you would have just seen and I have to feed everyone in the family so that's where this challenge is a little bit different. I'm just cooking a main meal and taking my portion so I'm counting this as a marked down win because the chicken was marked down. For dessert, I just had this cheeky little custard that I found as a markdown. Um, I had to eat it in the kitchen really quickly so no one came in to see because you've got to be a bit sneaky as a mum, don't you? It was really nice. I probably wouldn't buy it again unless it was cheaper than this, but still, it just hit that sweet spot of needing something for dessert. This iced coffee is substituting as my morning coffee and my breakfast, so the milk fills me up. And then it gives me the caffeine kick that I need while doing the school run and any other appointments until I can kind of get home. I'm never hungry when I wake up. I have a very slow metabolism. So at least I have something and it tells me myself that I'm not hungry. And then when I get home, I can focus on something else to eat. Most days I had a sandwich for lunch using the cheese and chives spread as my margarine and my markdown bread. I know that I can buy bread cheaper but the bread had to feed other people in the household so that was also part of this challenge. Um, so yeah, I bought it because the loaf stayed a little bit fresher for longer. I did sneak into Coles and grab these chips and also these bananas while I was out and about today because they were only $1.99 a kilo at a local fruit and veg store. Finally home in the afternoon and I decided to have a hot cross at bun with some margarine and I've got a real coffee there. You can mark that down as a non-markdown. Um, but I literally also only got two of these hot cross buns because the rest of the family decided to eat them. Dinner time. Finally, we're making lasagna because I picked up today the markdown milk and the lasagna sheets and the mince and the garlic bread. So that kind of said to me, hey, this is what we're having for dinner. So I put it all together. My lasagna makes six serves. So I had that with the salad that was on the side because that started to look a little bit sad. So I decided to pull it out of its bag to have that as well. Next night's dinner, I got this as a markdown, and so we're just having it as a side with mashed potatoes because the potatoes were in the cupboard. It doesn't look the best, <laughs> but it tasted all right. Um, I don't think I'd buy it again, but hey, it was a saving compared with paying like $2.50 or whatever there was. And the next day's lunch, I finally got around to having this hot dog thing. It was really good. We had a bit of a snack throughout the week of the leftover dip and I found these biscuits in the cupboard. And then this was dinner that I found at the shops with some roasted veggies. So a little bit more substantial meal, just roasted everything in the oven and I went down like a treat. On the weekends, I try and eat a little bit more something substantial and because I get a bit of a sleep in, so I have time to eat breakfast. So I just had wheat bix and used the leftover milk that we had and then finished off the last of the dip that was here. Yes, I'm eating everything up. Uh, and then we had leftover lasagna for dinner. And then for our afternoon snack, I had this leftover boost juice. It was my birthday. I got a free boost juice. I only drank half. So I'm using the leftover iced coffee and this boost juice and just making a bit of an afternoon milkshake snack thing. Thankfully found some more hot cross buns after all of ours magically disappeared and then found some celery because I love having this with peanut butter as a quick afternoon snack. So as you can see, my challenge did not go <laughs> as expected and I'm okay with that. That's why I'm still recording and uploading it to show you guys because that's life, is it not? And I really wanted to show you guys that that is our life. I know that on social media, a lot of people show you all the glory, but I'm there kind of like, this is everything I bought and this is what I got. It's like the Hunger Games in this house some days, unless you specifically say, do not eat this thing, it is for a challenge or it is my thing, then it could be gone. Uh, I got like two Tim Tams out of those whole things. <laughs> I got no croissants, so while the shop looked amazing at all of the things that you saw. 
I didn't touch a lot of stuff, so I just ate what I could. It's the Hunger Games. It's survival of the fittest around here. Who can get to the food fastest? I am a super, super busy mum, so I will just grab and go. If I'm out and about and I'm hungry, I'll wait till I get home to eat. I don't buy food when I'm out. I always have my drink bottle of water that I can fill up. Um, that's just who I am. So yeah, that's why I'm pretty frugal with how I do. I will head into Coles from time to time. I grabbed those packet of chips and the bananas, the fruit and veg store, because I was like, oh, they're a cheap thing and they'll fit within my challenge. And I was hungry at the time. So more than happy to do that. But any takeaway food, I just, I just don't do it because it's just not who I am. I'll wait till I get home. There's food at home. Yes, I'm that parent. We've got food at home. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and leave me a comment below and let me know if you found any exciting markdowns recently. I love when people reach out and let me know. You can also follow me over on Instagram because I have my day-to-day -day stories there and some funny reels with some markdown shopping and some other things that you won't see here. So it's great to get connected anywhere that you can find me. So jump on board. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you a part of our Frugal Fun family where we bring our videos to you every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!